Windows 11 24H2 version is now possible to download and install on your laptop or PC. Actually, this is the same version that soon will be available on the Microsoft official website. Of course, there are new functions and features, but it is worth understanding that it is better to wait for the official update. But if you don't want to wait, you have such an opportunity. All enthusiasts can download and install the new version of Windows 11 now and today. Definitely, I will show you how to do it. So let's get it started. So fellas, as you can see, releasing Windows 11 version 24H2 to the release preview channel. That is, you can download 24H2 version if you like it so much and you don't want to wait until it will be available in the update settings. You can do it. However, you need to be in Windows Insider program. Right now I'm running a Windows 11 using my PC and I am in this Insider program. In my case, I can just click on Windows Insider ISO download page. Wait a sec. As you can see, this is Windows Insider Preview Downloads. And from this page, I can download the latest 24H2 version. It's important to understand that it's recommended to download Release Preview Channel build because those builds, Canary, Dev, and Beta, are not ready. They are not completely ready. And Release Preview Channel, the most suitable for average user who don't want to wait for the release of the 24H2 in the Update Center. So as you can see, the version is 26.100.1150. And you have an opportunity to download this version even without Insider program. I will show you how to do it quickly in a virtual machine. So as you can see, I'm running VMware Workstation. I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient and enter exclusive mode. So for example, we are in Windows 11 23H2 version. I will show you quickly. System about section and yep this is windows 11 pro 23 h2 so if you want to try the latest 24 h2 version you have such an opportunity you can type uup dump press enter here is this website uup dump so from this website, you can download unreleased version of Windows, the same version that you can download from the Insider program. However, it's not necessary to sign into Microsoft websites. Here, important to select Release Preview Build, reliable builds for previewing the next release, ideal for trying out upcoming releases. As I said before, it will be the most suitable choice for average user. In this case, you need to select X64. You may see version 24H2 and the same version as on Insider Preview website, 26100.1150. You need to click on it. On this stage, you need to select language. For example, I will select English United States, click next. Then you can decide which version will be the most suitable for you, Windows Home, uh, Windows Pro. So I'm running Windows 11 in a virtual machine and this is the Pro version. So obviously I will select the Pro version, click on next. Importantly to select download and convert to ISO and include updates. Then click on create download package. Now we can open this archive, show in folder. We need to extract all the files. Click on extract. At the bottom, you may see UUP download windows. So just double click on it. More info and run anyway. Select yes. So to download this ISO, you need to type R and press enter. Now you just need to wait. Don't press any button at the moment. Be patient and take your time. I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient. 
Simply to understand, you need to wait until it will download all important components and after that you will be able to run ISO. You can also use this ISO to create a bootable USB stick, it depends on you. In my case, I'm going to wait until it will download and then I will try to upgrade from stable 23H2 version to release 24H2 version. This process may take some time, it will depend on your internet speed. Finally, it's 100% complete. You may see the message, the green one finished. Press zero or Q to exit. So we can type zero and press enter. It will automatically close the window. Then you need to click on the same folder and voila, you will find this ISO file. As you can see, this ISO file takes 5.83 gigabytes of storage, 24H2 version. Let's try to upgrade from 23H2 to 24H2 version. We need to double click on it. In this folder, you may see setup X, so you need to click on it. Select yes. Install Windows 11. I will click here, download updates, driver and optional features recommended. Okay, checking for updates. Then in this window, we just need to click accept. Again, it's checking for the latest updates. We need to wait a few minutes. Finally, we see a happy message ready to install and it will install Windows 11 Pro. Actually, we have the same Windows 11 Pro, but we're going to upgrade to 24H2 version and you may see that we will keep personal files and applications. In my previous video, I told that you need to install the same version of Windows. That is, if you have, for example, Windows 10 Pro and you want to upgrade to Windows 11 Pro, you need to select Pro. And also, it's important to know that you need to select the current language of your operating system. If in the past you chose English, then you need to also select English because if you selected Germany and then in the settings you select English and during upgrading you select English, it will not work that way. You need to also select Germany. Important info. Click install. Installing Windows 11, your PC will restart several times. This might take a while. Again, we just need to wait and be patient. And here we go, virtual machine restarted. Firstly, let's check the version of the operating system. I will click on system. Yep, this is 24H2, the latest 24H2 version, relevant version. So fellas, as you can see, you can easily upgrade to 24H2 version before waiting until it will officially be released on the Microsoft official website. In the end, it's all up to you. If you wish, I can make another video about Windows 11 24H2 new features. So let me know in the comments below. My conclusions. We have early access to the latest version of Windows 11. Everything seems to work properly. However, as I said before, I still recommend to wait for the latest version and then you will just be able to upgrade from the update center or from the Microsoft official website. It will be not that complicated, but in the end, it's all up to you. By the way, I will be grateful to everyone who wants to support the channel. You can do this by buying something from the affiliate links in the video description. If this video was helpful, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to fix a broken hard drive.